Eric and I are talking about the difference between enrolling uh, students into one-off courses, you know, that Eric, how many one-off courses do you have a year, let's say? Eight. Eight, that's great. So topics include, give us a couple of topics. Okay, meditation habit, healing family karma. Yeah, um, great. Forgiveness. Yes, great, wonderful. So you've got those individual standalone programs, mm -hmm. courses on those things. And people might be, oh, I'm interested in family karma and, and just in meditation. Okay, so they might sign up for it. And then you've got a an ongoing sort of like a membership program, mm -hmm. the Wisdom Heart Community. Mm -hmm. And in there, do they get all the courses or, or how does that work? Mm -hmm. They, they do get all of them, except I, I, I have been holding a couple back. I'm not sure about, but yeah, I, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Essentially yeah. they get everything. And between yeah. the, like the, the state, you know, the, uh, Stand one off, the, the, the a la carte people, the course is four weeks. Then we usually have a couple of weeks to explore it in depth just for the community. Just for the community. Interesting. So that's what so, I've been doing to try to have it be sort of, I like that course. model. Yeah. yeah, because it's like, hey, you've experienced, let's say, the lectures, the yeah. the, the lectures, you've, you've gotten the content. If you want to explore more deeply with a group of people who are dedicated to this overall path of growth, mm -hmm. then, hey, join us in the community. So you do actually invite at the end of a standalone course, you mention the ongoing community. Yes, I do. And it's I a great way to, of doing it. need to get better at doing it, but I do do it. Yeah. So you need to basically have have a like a yeah you just have to have your own your own checklist to say all right after the fourth session or at the end of the fourth session um, anyway so no I think that's a really good way of doing it um, I am I'll just tell you the way I'm going to do it next year is going to be different from how I'm doing it this year but the way I'm going to do it going forward is so your community had just. It's open that, I mean, there's no maximum number of people that can be in the membership community, right? I haven't discovered that number yet. You haven't, right? Okay, okay, right. So whereas like with my community, my membership community next year, there is a very yeah. specific yeah, yeah. number of people that can only be in it. So so, so in other words, these are two different membership models. There's a, there's a like unlimited membership model and then there's like a application only you know, membership model, right? So I think I think that's a, so whereas for me, I don't always talk about my membership in my courses because I enroll once a year. Gratefully these days, it maxes out at the enrollment period. So I don't talk about it. However, with, if I had an unlimited membership model, I think yours is a good one that you are mentioning it in every standalone course. I think that's a great way because instead of launching the membership several times a year, mm -hmm. you're just launching standalone programs throughout right. the year. And at the end of it, it makes sense that the people interested in that topic would be probably interested. Some of them would be interested. No, I, I think, I don't know if I would tweak anything to that actually. Okay. I think, I think the only thing I might tweak is um, maybe you have a, uh, maybe you have like a, like definitely a yearly, maybe you think about a yearly start, maybe twice a year, mm. like a yearly start and then the mid-year reboot of the of the membership program. Yeah, yeah. And those two periods are when you have a, a concerted effort to let everybody know and maybe do a webinar, a, like an open house or like an info session about the community. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like, there's several emails about it, you know, there's at least one live event about it, you answer questions about it, you post on social media, you run ads. So it's like, those are the times where you like, hey, let's, let's, let's restart this, this experience together. Beautiful. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks for asking about it.